So the one main event just wrapped up between Fan Li and Ilya Fryamanov. And it was a quick one, to be honest. We didn't really get to see much. Uh, so they started, they coming out, they came out strong. You know, Ilya was landing some pretty good, powerful shots. Looked like he, did, I wouldn't, I won't say rocked, but it looked like, you know, his power was felt. Lee, it looked like Lee felt his power with, uh, with this one-two combination he threw early into the fight. But then uh, Fang Lee, you know, trains with uh, Ryan Hall. You know, Ryan Hall is even in his corner. They train together. They're friends. They've trained together for ages. And he goes for the heel hook. It looks like Freymanov is going to get out of it. But and nah, he ends up taking the leg. And yeah, that's all she wrote. <laughs> it's, it's that simple. That, that was the fight. Uh, Ryan Hall fucking teaching Fang Li all of his tricks. Generally, really good performance from Fang Li. He is 38 years old as well, but he just beat a 27 year old Russian. So you gotta like that for him. That's really impressive. And he's gonna be rematching for the featherweight championship, the, the one featherweight championship, because obviously this fight was for the interim championship. So yeah, impressive performance from Fung Lee. I can't, I can't believe he's how old he is. I thought he was way younger for some reason, but yeah, he's 38 years old. That is crazy when you think about it. 1985, he looks he looks young though for his age, for sure. So yeah, it looks like it'll be him versus Kai Tang again, running it back. Kai Tang beat him in 56 seconds in the first fight. So it'll be interesting to see if he can make any adjustments against Kai Tang. You know, Kai Tang, 27 years old, much younger fighter, 11 fight win streak. Could be a really tough fight for Fung Lee here, especially in a rematch against a guy who knocked you out. But yeah, really, really interesting here. Uh, what else is there to say? I guess, uh, yeah, just... It was a good card overall. I guess I'll talk about the rest of the card. You know, the rest of the card was really good. I've seen Shinya Aoki get subbed with his own move, his own submission he invented. So that's uh, from Mikey. What's Mikey's last name? I look like a casual right now. Uh, it's a, He's got like an Italian last name. Uh, oh, what is his name? I can't even think of it off the top of my head. Uh... Mikey M Musemeki Mus Museki Mus Mazeki Mazeki and we'll go with Mazeki. Really good performance from him. He said in there that he wants to go to MMA eventually, so it'll be interesting to see what uh, Mikey and MMA will look like because apparently he trains Muay Thai. So when the t when the time's right, it'll be interesting to see him uh, in mixed martial arts. I already talked about Lip, Lip Peng Zhang with his knockout win. Uh, Joshua Pasiko got a decision win. Mansour Malachiv's like leg was completely done. It was actually crazy to see. Like his leg was completely done. It looked like he kept wobbling all over the place, but he got a takedown. He actually got takedowns like with one no leg. So that was pretty impressive from him. Not gonna lie, but he still ends up losing the decision. A fun fight between Sanchai versus Natawut. That was good. Uh, John D. D. Bella versus Daniel Williams was a really fun fight. Daniel Williams showed some toughness in there, but you know he it was it wasn't enough to defeat De Bella in there. He, he he seems like a really good fighter, De Bella. He's he's got some really good kickboxing. You know he seems he's very calm in there, a very calm fighter. And yeah, generally a very good performance from him. Of course, was rooting for Daniel Williams, but unfortunately doesn't get it done there. And then, yeah, Fung Lee with a crazy heel hook. So yeah, really good card. Uh, it made me realize there is a lot of cards on this weekend. You know? Like, we got a Bellator 300 as well tomorrow, I think. Yes, yeah, so same day as UFC. Uh, I think there's another card I can't quite remember. I forgot what it was now, but there's another card as well as the UFC and Bellator. Uh, not not MMA, but there's a glory card tomorrow as well, I'm pretty sure. With uh, Batahari, he's fighting on there. So yeah, a lot of a lot of good combat sports this weekend, which is always good to see. 
but yeah, one one's doing great things. PFL's doing great things. I'm enjoying their cards. Hopefully, Bellator can stick around a bit, a little bit longer. And hopefully, their card tomorrow is a success because yeah, competition always makes mixed martial arts better. It's always better if you can build up all these fighters and have more promotions for fighters to fight in. But uh, yeah, really good card from one. So hats off to the guys at one. I enjoyed this card. Last week's card was really good as well. I don't know. I feel like it's hard for one cards to be boring. To be honest, like they're always really fun. Like I, maybe it's got to do with the whole you can get yellow cards if you're not doing anything in, in one. So everyone's always pushing the action. It seems like because yeah, you rarely see like a stinker fight in one. You'll see a lot in the UFC and a lot in Bellator especially, and some in PFL, but you rarely, rarely ever see them in one. So that's like. It's either hats off to their scouting, the talent they scout, or just their rule changes that they've made. Because, yeah, they definitely always got the fun, entertaining fights in one. But if you made it this far into the video, make sure you give it a like, comment, and if you're not already, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video.